paddling truly brought healing to my life. Surfing and paddling, it was like a safe haven. You know, um, the ocean definitely runs through my blood. Being on the water for me was what mattered the most. Whether it was dragon boating or paddling on an outrigger canoe like the ones that I paddle, I just wanted to connect back to my roots. When I moved here to Charleston, I was so excited because it was about 22 years since I last set foot in a canoe. It was like I was returning to my childhood love. So I discovered dragon boat racing um, through Charleston Paddle Club. I had no idea what that was. I didn't know the technique. I've never been in it. I've never held a paddle, a dragon boat paddle. One of the coaches did a clinic here in Charleston and he saw me paddling in the boat. I literally had maybe seven or eight months experience in dragon boating and he kind of just said, hey Jess, I think you should try out for the US National Dragon Boat Team. And that little bit of encouragement from this coach really propelled me to just, to go ahead and go for it. Even though I knew that, okay, maybe I didn't know a lot about it. Um, I was a little bit fearful, but I, I didn't want to pass up that opportunity to, to just go out there and try. You know, I would never know if I don't try, so I did. <laughs> so I made the US National Dragon Boat Team in 2017. Just being able to share the stage with all the different countries and to be able to represent Charleston, Hawaii, and the United States was an incredible honor. I would like to be that example for anyone out there that it's never too late to uh, make a goal or try something new because you never know what is going to come out of it. You know, I was um, 39 at the time when I made the U.S. National Dragon Boat Team. Um, it's been 20 over 20 years since I even paddled. So to say that, you know, it's too late, that's not true. It's never too late to try something new.